a friendly reminder that Fiona from Shrek chose a literal ogre over a short guy. Yeah, meanwhile, people here are too stupid to understand the meaning behind the whole story of the first Shrek movie and resonate with Farquaad just because he happened to be short. Totally not like he wanted to kill all magical creatures or anything. You monster! For anybody wondering, yes, I can do the Muffin Man spiel from that scene. And uh, yes, uh, welcome back to our slash insult tears. What years of observation as an incel and chad fishing have proven to me? All 100% of women would rather have S with everyone mentioned below rather than a subhuman like me. And it's just a list of a whole lot of horrendous things. The fact that everyone mentioned here, if he is better looking, has thousands of times higher possibility to have S with women. It's just funny, not even mentioning that it's the same case with dogs and other animals. Ah yes, you know, because if Scruffy happens to get, uh, you know, arrested for arson, and all the other dogs are just gonna be thinking, oh dang, isn't that attractive? Yeah, no, that's not how that shit works. It is truly over. Your SMV doubles when you commit a major crime. Triples when you end someone's life. It's a clown world. Yeah, ain't nobody getting moister than an oyster because a dude happened to be blowing up a hospital. Last I checked, that's not anything I've ever seen on anybody's dating profile. I'm just saying, like, for moral perspective, could you not feel like you were a temptation for men? Please don't take this as me judging you or saying this is to you as an insult. I get that you can do what you want. I'm just trying to share a perspective. Um, I read this like three times and I don't understand what you are trying to say. Okay, sorry. Not be like a temptation for men? I'm trying to say, do you not think that it is morally wrong at all to be lewdly tempting for men? How the heck should that be morally wrong, nor be related to me? How is this any of my business? Women just existing is apparently already tempting for men? I have no idea. How dare women just be over there existing, you know, just womening it up all day in front of the men. How dare you? Well, the hymen equals no diamonds. And it's based only clocks of Mary used goods. Ah yes, meanwhile you must be pristine quality of human because I can guarantee ain't nobody ever touched you. Women are more likely to delete their daughters than sons. This has to do with estrogen present in a developing female fetus subconsciously influencing women to be less secure, so they're more likely to delete. This phenomena is amplified by the fact that most high-status men maintain a small harem that they manage using social media. For example, Jared Leto has over 200 wives on an island as part of a religious act. Even in my own county, around 100,000 people, most dudes who make over $150,000 have a small harem of six to seven women. I know of one who has over 30. In other words, if you are not wealthy enough to compete with people who make that amount of money and pay for metaverse subscriptions in order to verify your identity, you simply do not get to date attractive women. Most women do not meet men outside of social media these days. And social media gates your ability to interact with all women based off of your income. You may still, of course, date single mothers over the age of 30, or obese women. Look, I've been, I've signed up for dating apps in the past. Uh, not a single freaking time on the sign-up did it ask for your annual income estimates. Plus, I'm fairly certain anybody asking what your income is when you first meet them, that's a bit of a red flag too, so yeah, I'm out if you're gonna be asking that. I don't want to be a part of that. One of my favorite romantic ideas, but I will never be able to do it. This is always been a desire of mine. I find it very romantic. 
I'd like if after bring in tonight, she made my coffee while remaining bare, where I would admire her beautiful figure and think she is my property. My seed is inside her forever. If she was a country, then I'd be the colonizer. Oh, then I would drink my coffee and fall asleep with the television on as she caresses my face in a dark room with little light. I really, really, really like romance, but I will never get a taste of it due to being a sub-five. Yet normies and chads can be lazy, selfish, and not romantic, yet they garner the love of a woman. Very depressing. Yeah, you know, it's also totally because those three people don't happen to post like this on the internet and act and all of such because last I checked acting like this can translate into your real life interactions which this is very much not surprising. Why are women shallow? I constantly see ugly and fat women with men both as a couple and as people who are very clearly just hooking up and have yet to see men who are fat and ugly with women as a relationship option or a lewd option. I'm 27 and have yet to have a girlfriend because women treat any man who isn't skinny as absolute trash. I have even resorted to making fake dating app accounts so that I can prove my point on how shallow women are. You know, if you're only getting your experience about interactions with other people through dating apps and not actually in-person interactions, that is not really a good example. There's very much a different feeling when you're actually talking to somebody in person versus through an app, but at the same time, the app does also give you a sense of security, knowing that, like, if you say no, then you can just block the person. You can't exactly do that in real life. That and also, I kind of feel like I get a good example of how your interactions on dating apps go based on how you post on Reddit. Why incels should defect to the DPRK? What the shit is A? We will receive e can we will receive equal economic opportunity. We will be free of racial discrimination. And we'll even properly get married. On top of that, since we are Westerners, we may even be used in those epic propaganda films depicting America and its slaves as the bad guys. A man named James Dresnot once defected and got to live his best life alongside comrade Kim Il-sung. Let us abandon the West and embrace the internal rule of Kim Il-sung. Sung. Ten years ago, the media dragged a 5'4", Harvard-trained, award-winning eye surgeon in search of a wife because of his requirements, referring to him as a douchebag and desperate. Back in 2012 to 2013, Dr. Emil Chin, a Harvard-trained, award-winning eye surgeon worth more than $10 million, went on the show Millionaire Matchmaker, and subsequently went viral when an email containing his dating preferences and non-negotiables were leaked. Of most interest to the public were his hard requirements, most notably his insistence on a woman being a size 0 to 2 and Caucasian. On an episode of New Day on CNN, he was grilled and berated by a panel while defending his preferences and requirements. One of his responses to one of the anchors who happened to be plus-sized was that Himself being 5'4", 125 pounds, he knows most women wouldn't be interested due to them wanting a man larger than himself, which is why he specified smaller, to which initially triggered the plus size anchor and then reluctantly nodded her head in agreement. The video has since been removed from YouTube and CNN, but you can read screenshots from four separate publications. When it comes to having preferences like this, you really just filter down the type of people that you might actually get along with based off of physical appearance. So at the same time, if you happen to have these kind of requirements, I don't want to see you complaining if you happen to be single for an extended period of time. 
At the end of the day, y'all did this to yourself. Because then you also have to factor in at the same time, a person with those type of preferences, a person with that type of preference, then must also then have you as their type of preference when it comes to dating, which filters it down even to a more higher degree. So at the end of the day, just don't expect to get a bunch of results if your thing is very much a preference towards a very certain specific type of human category. Why can't you just understand that most women, especially young women, have the tendency to be extremely schematic and shallow in dating requirements? And that is the reason why so many young men today are single, 64%. And that's not the sole problem. Otherwise, it would be bleak but straightforward. But simultaneously, you women will gaslight men into thinking you lot care about personally or character despite most of you lot's actions portraying the complete opposite. Physical attraction isn't terribly important in the scheme of things. For casual hookups, maybe, but for a serious relationship, it's probably the least important thing. Personality and character are the most important part of a serious relationship. If your spouse isn't your best friend, you're not gonna last very long. A beauty standard is not set higher for women. I just saw someone make the claim beauty standards are higher for women than men. This is wrong on so many levels. First of all, women can have multiple flaws in their face and still have multiple BFs and people in their DMs. A man could go to the gym for years, get a proper haircut, looks match, and still be single for his whole life. I'm tired of freaking pick -me's. Gosh darn it! The beauty standard for men is six foot plus, a predetermined, lean and muscular with a V-shaped body and big shoulders, years of hard work, a sharp jawline, genetics and bone structure out of your control, hunter eyes, genetics out of your control, Perfectly clear skin, sometimes out of your control, partially or majorly genetic. If you don't have one of these, it is over. Beyond over. You have next to no chance in the dating market unless you are straight up blessed in almost every area. And no, these are not arbitrary standards. These are objective facts about men and what makes a man attractive to a girl. Do not try to debate me because I am objectively right. You, you ain't objectively right, you certified stupid though. Beauty standards for women. Don't be fat, choice optional. I actually don't understand how someone can be so moronic as to think that women have a higher beauty standard when they literally don't. Being fat is a literal choice, plain and simple. Weight can fluctuate, however, there are medical issues that can make it very hard for anybody to do it. Does that mean it's impossible? No. Does it make it a lot harder? Yes. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Now I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye <laughs>